It's like a beaver and a rat had a baby. I don't know where we're going. I love that, Emma. Okay. You dislike someone so much that you're like, fire. I'm attached. Go starting off this vlog from the wilderness. The wilderness is cold outside. The wilderness. Just kidding, we're literally in the middle of a suburb. Whoa. There are literally like houses right <laughs> through there, and we're like, it's the middle of nowhere. We're trying to survive. <laughs> you gotta go. Dude. Oh, I thought you those berries. Find those berries. Huh? I don't know where we're going. But we did see a nutria, which you definitely will see a clip of. Fun fact, when we originally discovered what a the heck a nutria was, we thought that it was a water rat, which it basically is. It's like a beaver and a rat Same had a baby. Size. But I mean, it's cute. But then I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Hello. Last time we were here in the summer, we saw a big old turtle. A turtle. Oh, yeah. That big one that you kept not seeing, and then finally oh. you saw it, and you were like shooketh to the core. It was so big. <laughs> wait for the turtles to come out. I am exhausted. <laughs> Let me show you what we're seeing. I want something. What do you want? Ow, right in my industrial piercing. Oh. That's all right. We forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the viewers. <laughs> Me and all three of them. <laughs> Which is probably me, you, and my mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Is this the point where we turn back? We're about to hit the other parking lot. I mean, we're in the middle of the woods. Uh, There's no parking lot. <laughs> we traveled here by helicopter. Oh, <laughs> the drop off. We parachuted in. <laughs> we parachuted in. Something in the water over there. Wait. Oh, down. <laughs> this is a better representation of what I look like. Small. <laughs> Small. Book review, book review. So intimidated. I definitely won't lie. But it's just because there are just so many. And the fact that it's not one series, it's like two together. Why not make it one big series? Why make it? I don't know. I feel like that just leads to more confusion. It's from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armin Trout. The way that it works if you don't know this book or the series is there's the series that's like this book the blood and ash series going and then intermittently kind of mixed in is what is it a fire, fire. and yeah, something tells me fire and fury fire or fire flesh and fire flesh and fire i'm gonna read it the way that she says because it's her books. So I'm gonna <laughs> believe her. I'm overstimulated by how many books there are gonna be because I think I count 11. We are just getting off of the high of reading Throne of the Fallen. Throne of the Fallen. And that was an experience. So it's gonna be super, super, super embarrassing if this long series is not <laughs> everything that one book encapsulated. Super awkward. My expectations are high. All right, well, okay. We all know how I feel about 
a hardcover. That's the thing though about fantasies. I feel like so many of them are hardcovers. Give you a little, if you haven't seen this book, a little moment. Oh, she's cute. Look at that little reflective moment. <laughs> <laughs> 44 pages in wouldn't buy the second one i mean 44 pages in the grand scheme of how big this book is like that's really only that much you know and it's not terrible i think we just read it way too close to the other book yeah our expectations are really high right now but it's definitely painful to read right now except 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 if you're one of my floppy floppy girly pops the inside of this book is very flop. Like, you see what I'm saying? Slow start. A little bit of smut. I'm sure that there's gonna be more. But I don't really like the way that the author writes. Hard to keep up with for me. You know how there are words that just roll off your tongue? Mm -hmm. These sentences don't roll. To give an idea, I'll do the first page so that people don't get any spoilers. Or I'll do the acknowledgments from the author. If you don't get anything. Like, you could see how it's, it's a lot of words on a page, like small margins, small font, they go all the way to the top. Not a lot of spacing in between. For it to not be, is right. hard. Mm -hmm. Because even just opening it, I'm like, oh, it's like a dictionary. The main character, Poppy, is also giving, I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Which I, I've grown tired of that. So we'll see. And there aren't any other characters that like, we really know enough about yet. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like, Oh, but we'll see. That's our update. I hope it gets better because I am growing tired. Yeah. So, we'll see. <laughs>
but now I'm attached and I have to read all those other books. I haven't finished yet. I'm only halfway through. But part of me was hoping that I wouldn't get attached. That this would be a one-off little thing and I'd be like, yeah, it's not my vibe. And I could avoid reading all those books in the series. That was a mistake. I love them. Uh, okay. I don't think it's gonna happen to you. But now I like the main character, unfortunately, because at first she was not the vibe. But now I feel for her. I literally just had a moment where it got so good that I had to take a break because I felt like I was having an attack. You'll learn quickly. You, you guys, whoever is watching this, you will learn that I experience the book so deeply and truly that I'm like squealing or laughing or jumping up and down, freaking out. Like, I don't just read. Sam's the one that just reads silently and digests everything. That's not me. I feel it so strongly that I literally have to take a break because I feel sick. <laughs> With what just happened. Sick. Wow, it's so good. Wow. It doesn't matter who is in love, or who is flirting with who. Boy, girl, girl, boy, girl, girl, boy. I don't care. They, them. I don't care. Me reading any type of flirtatiousness. I just love it. I just love it. I eat it up. I'm like, Rah! you know what I mean? I just finished. Wow. Wow. We were literally gonna DNF this book because of the way it started and because we were comparing it to the other book that we had read. And now I genuinely think that before we get groceries, we have to go get the other book, the next book. So if that doesn't show you how much it picked up, I don't know what else can. So good. Plot, so good. I didn't get any battery. Sorry. What was I even saying? The fantasy world of it is so different without being super complicated. You know, it takes things that are more mainstream, like vampires, werewolves, immortal beings, which are very easy to understand if you're someone that isn't a super fantasy person because, you know, things like Twilight made it so that those types of beings are more understandable. But it, this book and this series and this author took those kinds of creatures and changed them enough to make them their her own which I really appreciate, while still making it like beginner friendly. Where you don't feel like you have to be like a fantasy guru to be able to like wrap your mind around the world. In that sense, like if it's a series you're trying to get into, whether you're not super into fantasy or you haven't been into fantasy in a while, I recommend. It's a little hard in the beginning, but push through. Love story and smut wise, love story is good. And this isn't any kind of, they hint that there's some sort of love story when you look at the cover of the book or like look at the, little flap. So this isn't a spoiler. Love story I think is really great. I really like their dynamic. Smart level as a book in its entirety and this isn't even just about the love story just like what's getting brought up, the language that people are using, definitely up there. If you don't like smart, don't read it. The smart was definitely like well placed in my opinion so it's not like it was unnecessary. I think it was great. Um, I think I'm leaning towards a 4.5 and I would give it a 5 because I am so so eager to read more which is normally what i rate as a five but i'm knocking it down half just because the beginning was so hard for me to get through it, it wasn't like a book that like got me from the start which again could have been my fault because i had just read a, a five star fantasy prior so i'm very intrigued but in the beginning i didn't see where it was going i didn't see how there could be so many books but now i see it now i can see how there could be so much more to say. That's my debrief for my little corner. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my reactions. Please, if someone is watching this, someone please tell me if you react the way I do towards books. Because Sam acts like a statue when she's reading. How do you re read books? Are you the kind of person that can just sit there in public? Like I literally can't read in public, I don't think. I haven't tried in a long time. I could not go to a coffee shop and be reacting, I like reading something smutty or reading like something crazy just happened. I react so loudly. I don't know why.
There's no way. Where a stem can read a bombshell, and the most you'll get is a. Oh. So, let me know. Toodles. Bye.